done not too long ago, just recently, last week or two, somewhere within that time frame. By the way, that's my AMG 363S. I do this in almost every video when I pull up. I can't but help admire this car. I try to put up a little bit more footage of this car as we talk. But this video is exactly about a day in the park with my uh, girlfriend. She's uh, from Colombia, and you've probably seen her in some of my other videos. Isn't this beautiful? Like the sunset, like this, the way the trees appear this time of the day, night, evening. Uh, I do have my dog with me. She knows she's being recorded and she doesn't like it. Um, so, you know, sometimes you get that look right from your dog. Like, are you serious, bro? You're not going to take me out? Like, that look just eats at you, man. Uh, so, uh, I've already done like a couple of videos. I figured I might as well go to the park and knock it out. And guess what? I'm walking again and talking. So, a day in the park with my girlfriend. It was a beautiful day. Uh, most days are beautiful with her. And so what I learned from just being carefree is she actually suggested that, hey, we're always like going to the casino. I live in Las Vegas, obviously. You probably know by now. Oh, I love my dog. Yes, you need a dog. Come on. Trotting away. Globe trotter. She's like, hey, we're always going to the casino. We're always going to um, out to the strip when we can and going to events, which is nice. But how about we just hit up a coffee shop? And uh, we've done this before. And how about we just uh, relax a little bit and go to the park? She wants to check out the park. See, what I like about her is she's naturally curious about the environment, right? And so let's see if I can go. If it, if it starts getting dark across this bridge here, then I'm going to chop it up, uh, meaning I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. But I think I might have to go back the other way because of the lighting. Yeah. I've been on this trail before. Um, and she said, let's just go to the park. I'm like, okay, cool. So it took me out of my normal route, my normal, you know, things that I do with her. And I actually got on her vibe. On, I wanted to see the world kind of through her lens and, and get to learn about what, you know, chill mode looks like for her. Uh, we've been dating for one year and, uh, it's, yeah, it's getting dark folks. You can see behind me, right? It's like, you can see a beautiful sunset right there. My dog's like, why are we going there? Because it's getting dark, baby. Um, so that's about, that's a nice shot right there. Um, and so I did, we relaxed, we grabbed some coffee. Um, the coffee shop was relatively empty. I chopped it up with the server over there, obviously friendly you know i'm friendly with everyone and uh she recommended some uh, house coffee we got uh some avocado and toast for her i was fasting so i didn't really eat but she fed me she cut cut up the slices of avocado and bread and fed me with the fork which i thought was really cute and it doesn't happen these days you know we don't see this in american culture like your girlfriend or your woman feeding you like that in public Sorry, folks. Oh man, that just that just that just melt, melted my heart. And she does; she's done this before. We share each other's food when we go somewhere. Lately, we've actually discovered that hey, we don't need to order giant plates of food because we can barely finish it. Recently, I've gotten her into fasting, and she tries her best to follow fasting. Obviously, she's not as dedicated to me, uh, dedicated to fasting as I am, but she's learning the benefits. She likes it. She's intrigued. And, uh, hey, no, no, let's go. She's intrigued and uh, she wants to uh, and better, you know, better her life. So in that sense, um, you know, we, we get the, um, we get, my dog is taking a dump, folks. I'm not going to show you that, but I'm going to pick it up. So we get like shared plates and uh, appetizers. And then we share it. That's a dangerous fella right there. Dangerous girl. Uh, yep. Yep. And then, uh, so, you, you have to say hello to everyone, folks, by the way. And I'm trying to pick up my dog's poop right there. Hey, come here. Come here. 
probably can hear it. Uh, but I, I try to acknowledge people as strangers. Again, this is a messy video uh, and untimed, unplanned, but well, uh, I want to give you a snippet of my life. But it was so relaxing, man. Like, you know, just having uh, a girlfriend for, for, for the season at least. We've been together one year, winter season. It's nice having that companion, right? It doesn't hurt when she looks good too. <laughs> and uh, we get checked out a lot. Uh, I think when you're dating a Colombian girl or, you know, an international girl, and I'm not a passport bro, although I could technically be called one is because I'm acting like one and I'm not even acting, but is I'm playing the role in that sense, right? I fit every, every aspect of it minus the travel. So, uh, we were lying down here, sitting down right there, like right in the middle somewhere there, as you can see, and this is a beautiful park. There's a dog park all the way there. I'm going to, um, we're going to pass that in a minute. But I want to give you sort of the uh, the backdrop, like the overview of where we were. This is another park I come to. Isn't it amazing? Like everyone is resigned to their couches for the most part. I say everyone because who else do you see out here but this guy with a gimbal and a cool hoodie. Uh, some of you asked about my attire. Where's my dog? Oh, she's here. Some of you have asked about my attire. Oh, that's a killer sunset. Look at that. I fall in love with exactly that. These moments here. See, when I'm in post-production, I'm like, I follow the trail. I'm like, wow, I wonder what's all the way out there. Now I know because I'm walking it. I have this real great imagination that sets me free and brings me joy and freedom. And you can tell the more I walk, the more it opens me up and the more I don't shy away from talking to a camera like a crazy man. But I'm also liberating my soul. So, you know, it's a little fun video, right? We got my dog in this uh, on, uh, in, the, in that video as well, and uh, she loves my dog. She loves cats as well. She's got a cat tattoo on her left or right wrist, I believe. And uh, it was a cute date, fun day with my girlfriend, and just wanted to share that moment with you, that walk and talk moment, you know. And uh, it got us in a nice zone uh, and relaxed, right? So moments like that create opportunities to talk. Like communication, communicating tough subjects or tough matters or, or things that are on your mind come out naturally during that kind of environment versus being in your home and, you know, locked in 24 7 with your partner, uh, your girlfriend, boyfriend. We don't, we don't, hold a second. Hold a second. There's, there's dogs coming out there. I just want to make sure that I don't have a, my dogs stay indoors here. But, you know, there's a, there's a, oh, hold, hold a second. Uh, there's other dogs out there. Oh, see? There you go. <laughs> um, and creating that environment, right, for, uh, for you guys to communicate in that sense is, uh, is good. Like, you're not, it opens up your mind in terms of uh, the topics you talk about, you want to discuss. Oh. Small dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shh. No, 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 no. What's up, man? Hey, happy Thanksgiving to you, bro. Come on. Oh, there goes my dog. There goes my dog. Can you see it? I don't know. She went somewhere. She's out, up and away. Up and away. Okay, she got a run in. She got to run in. Yes, you got to run in. Good. You got your sprint. You happy? That's what my day was like at the park. And I'm so glad I came out and did this one video because the lighting is escaping me here. Uh, I believe you can still see me because I can still see myself. Uh, now I'm just rambling. So, somehow, the color of this hoodie and the, the ambient lighting is doing well for me right now. <laughs> at, least that's what I'm, that's, at least that's what I get told. Folks. 20 bucks. My girlfriend, she steals my hoodies. She likes my smell. She takes the hoodies. She even puts her arms inside my hoodies. It's a great problem to have. And then we cuddle. I miss her. I actually supposed to see her today, but her work, she's a server in the hospitality business. Her work actually called her in. 
Uh, so she is covering for someone else's shift so that we can spend Thanksgiving tomorrow. So she will be here tomorrow. Um, folks, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you haven't checked out some of my recent videos about never getting married, <laughs> contradictory right to, to what I'm saying right now. Uh, never getting married, why, opt, why I opted to never marry. And I've also just dropped a recent video just like literally less than 24 hours ago uh, about um, marriage being overrated and my experience. Uh, I've not been married, of course. Uh, I, became, I came close to marrying. Um, I've been engaged once in my life, but uh, it's not what it's all cut out to be. And as a nearly 50-year-old man, I'm 49 right now, but uh, I'm getting there. Um, you know, I think I know a thing or two about this thing called life. So giving my perspective to you, uh, the younger generation, and to the ones that are stuck in horrible situations and with kids and all of that great stuff, right? That marriage can be a beautiful thing as well for most, for, for some people, not all. But anyway, I'm digressing. I'm digressing. This is not what the video is about. If you want to check that video out, I'm going to link it uh, here in the end screen. So go check that out. I love you all. Have a safe Thanksgiving. I'll try to drop. I'll do a Thanksgiving video on the Thanksgiving day off tomorrow. So this blue sweater rep represents all the videos I've done on the eve of Thanksgiving. Okay. Till the next one, Mamba out.